This is going to be a quick demonstration of parallel compression on vocal. Here's a vocal and we're going to hear the vocal just by itself without any parallel compression. Breathe softly, don't worry, I've heard all of these words before. Okay, so what parallel compression is going to do is it's not going to affect the high levels because that would be normal compression. This is parallel compression and what we want it to do is bring up the low levels because it adds sparkle and interest and excitement to just about any signal source you can put it on. And it's great for drums and it's good for a vocal as well. So the way that I've set it up here is I've got an auxiliary send and it's going to bus one and you can see bus one just uh, just there. Uh, this is Pro Tools but you can use any digital audio workstation software. I've set the level of the send to 0 dB. It doesn't really need to be anything else for this purpose but it could be. And I've left the aux send on post fade. That would be pre fade. This is post fade. Sometimes you can use pre, sometimes you can use post. Uh, they've both got uh, certain issues which I might explain in another video. But this will be fine for today. So the send is going to a compressor and what we can see in the compressor is that I've set a ratio of 12 to 1 which is quite a high ratio for a, a vocal but for parallel compression it works if the compression is quite heavy. And also I've set the attack and release to their fastest values. In this compressor the higher numbers are faster. So I'm going to play it again and it will be just the vocal you hear but take a look at the meter as the vocal plays through. Breathe softly, don't worry. So as you can see the meter is going above minus 10 to minus 15 and it will approach minus 20. That's the amount by which the compressor is reducing the signal level. So it's really bringing it down on those peak levels. And that's what we want it to do. This would be an extreme compression if it was regular compression but for parallel compression this will work just nicely. So I'm going to play it again and I'm going to bring in the parallel compressed the P comp track and I'm going to bring it up in level to a point where I can just start hearing it affecting the high levels making them louder. So here we go. Breathe softly, don't worry, I've heard all of these words before. It's just another rewind. Okay, so at that point it is affecting the high levels. So I'm going to bring it down just a bit until it hardly affects the high levels at all. Breathe softly. Don't worry. I've heard all of these words before. It's just another rewind. I can tell you every line you Okay, at that point it's hardly affecting the high levels, but it is bringing up the low levels. So listen again to the low levels and listen to the breaths, the mouth noises, the background noise and the spill from the headphones into the microphone. It's all important. Breathe softly. Don't worry. I've heard all of these words before. It's just another rewind. I can tell you every line you're gonna say. Don't hesitate. It's easy. It's okay. Just one more time. Just once. So what we're getting from this is that without raising the level of the vocal, at least in its high level sections, we're getting the vocal to be more upfront, more present. It's more like somebody just whispering in your ear. And this is the great thing about parallel compression and it's really easy to do. So we'll just listen one more time. Here we go. Breathe softly, don't worry. I've heard all of these words before. It's just another rewind. I can tell you every line you're gonna say. 
Don't hesitate. It's easy. It's okay. So there we have it, parallel compression on vocal. I'm David Muller, course director of Audio Masterclass. Thank you for listening.